There were many bands that contributed to the era of disco, but the two we'll be focusing on were by far one of the most important. One of the groups that we will be learning about is called the Bee Gees, and they were featured on the film Saturday Night Fever, which was a very popular movie at that time. This group was three singers from England. The Bee Gees was a music group famous in the 1960s and 1970s. They were all of their own music and were famous for their signature sound. Their signature sound was really high singing and really tight harmonies, so they sang really tight together. Their sound was known as R&B falsetto. They were prominent performers in the disco era. They made their first success performing in Australia, where they were promoted worldwide by Robert Stiglitz, an American-British composer. They were inducted into the Rock Hall of Fame in 1997 and later referred to as the Kings of Disco. The other group that we will be talking about is called the Village People. How they got together was actually a really funny story. So they were an American band known for their onstage costumes and catchy songs. They were formed by a French composer and producer along with his business partner. Their third partner, Victor Willis, was added when they received his singing recording. One of the French men came up to him and said, I had a dream that you sang lead on my album and it went very, very big. Willis then agreed to perform on their album, actually called The Village People. One of the most famous songs you may know is the YMCA. They went on to capture audiences internationally. With record sales soaring, the three men saw the need to create a permanent group. They took an ad out for a theater and their ad said, macho types wanted must dance and have a mustache. <laughs> From there, they found their other three members. With the official lineup in place, the group did a photo shoot for their cover, Macha Man, and their single hit, YMCA. This past March 2020, they were added to the National Recording Registry, where they keep audio recordings that are most significant or important to culture and history.